feet of fresh powder means that some ski resorts are going to open tomorrow, one of the earliest opening days in recent memory. Cron Forest Charles Clifford, live for us now in Walnut Creek as shoppers are just so excited to get out there on the slopes. They're buying new yep. skis, new hats, maybe even new puffy coats, right, Charles? He yeah, has puffy coats like mine. Everyone's getting into that uh, winter mentality. Let's go ahead and take a look at some video here. As you mentioned, uh, the Sierra has gotten a lot of snow in the last couple of weeks. Those big storms have translated into feet of snow. We've got Heavenly, uh, I think Kirkwood, North Star, and maybe a few others are opening this weekend. Uh, there's some video here from Palisades at Tahoe. They're actually opening on the 18th, which is still four days earlier than they were originally planning on opening. Now here in Walnut Creek today, I went over to the sports basement there. Uh, they love us. They love the media. We always go in there and visit with them. And there are lots of people buying uh, skis, also renting skis today. Uh, they've been very busy uh, trying to keep up with the demand as everyone kind of gets in the mood for ski season. I talked to one woman uh, who says they're planning to go up to Tahoe for the holidays. Uh, very excited, very excited. Yeah. Yes, um, and we plan to do some Thanksgiving up there as well so who knows maybe we'll get some skiing in it too All right, back live. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that the uh, staff at Sports Basement told me they were extremely busy last weekend, and tomorrow is a holiday. A lot of people are off, and for folks who might be headed up to the Tahoe, up to Tahoe this weekend, they're expecting tomorrow to be busy. So if you're going to go to Sports Basement or really anywhere you want to rent skis, try to call ahead, make a reservation if you can, because they've been extremely busy. But that's the very latest here in Walnut Creek. Charles Clifford, Cron 4 News. Great advice there, Charles. Thank you so much.